Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Talolipop and today we're doing a 2020 versus 2021 comparison video on the Trek Dual Sport series. Now I didn't actually know much about these bikes before I started making this video, but I've learned a lot and I hope to share that information with all of you. Now I have done videos comparing other bikes in Trek's lineup, such as the Marlin, Excalibur, and Roscoe bikes, so please check those out if you're interested. The Dual Sport lineup is one of Trek's gravel or hybrid bike lines, which basically means that they have wider tires than road bikes and narrower tires than mountain bikes, so they're somewhere in between the two. They're intended to work just as well on the pavement as on gravel, and can thus be used as your only bike riding on roads and on light trails without worry. There are four bikes in the lineup and an electric version of this bike in international markets known as the Dual Sport Plus, but I won't be covering that one in this video. There are also women's versions of the Dual Sport 1, 2, and 3, but the only differences they have are a more comfortable women's seat and a curved frame design in all the sizes since they only come in extra small to medium sizes. And they also come in different colors. But with that out of the way, there are some smaller updates to the Dual Sport 1, 2, and 3, and some big updates to the Dual Sport 4, but I'll cover everything you need to know to get caught up with the Dual Sports, and I'll be making separate tables for each model to show the changes more clearly. Starting with the Dual Sport 1, this bike costs $550, and the 2020 model came in Royale and Metallic Gunmetal. The 2021 model replaces these colors with Trek Black, and Viper Red. The tires on the 2020 model were Bontrager LT2 700x38C tires, while the 2021 model uses Bontrager GR1 comp tires which are 700x40C. The wider tires on the 2021 bike should help it gain more traction on the road and concrete and make the ride more comfortable. The seat post on the 2020 model was a Bontrager SSR, which is updated to a Bontrager alloy post in 2021, but both are the same size and have similar construction. The chain is also updated from the 2020 model's KMC Z51 to a KMC Z7 in 2021, but the only difference is a slight change in design that shouldn't be noticeable while riding. These minimal changes do impact the weight of the bike, however, with the 2020 bike coming in at 13.81 kilograms or 30.45 pounds, while the 2021 version weighs 13.73 kilograms or 30.26 pounds. This difference is pretty small and shouldn't be very noticeable. Next, we have the Dual Sport 2, which costs $670. The 2020 bike came in Trek Black and Viper Red with black accents, while the 2021 model replaces these with Metallic Gunmetal and Mosan Blue with green accents. Once again, the tires on the 2020 model were Bontrager LT2 tires, while the 2021 model changes them to the Bontrager GR1 comp tires, and the 2020 Bontrager SSR seat post is also updated to the Bontrager alloy seat post. The chain was a KMC Z7 in 2020, but it is updated to a KMC Z8.3 in 2021, which is more durable and provides a quieter riding experience. Next, the shifters are changed from the 2020 model's Shimano Altus M310 shifters to the Shimano Altus M315 shifters. These shift a little bit better since the M315 shifters are an updated version of the M310 ones. The weights of these bikes are different too, with the 2020 model weighing 13.26 kilograms or 29.23 pounds, while the 2021 bike weighs 13.18 kilograms or 29.05 pounds, which is again a small difference in weight, but it is a change nonetheless. Moving on, we have the Dual Sport 3, which has the least changes for 2021 and costs $860. The 2020 bike came in Quicksilver and Volt Green, while the 2021 model comes in Lithium Gray and Factory Orange. The only change to this bike besides that is the rear derailleur, which is updated from the Shimano Isera M3000 in 2020 to the Shimano Olivio M3100 in 2021. The Olivio is a step up from the Isera as it provides better shifting and is more reliable. The weight of the bike in 2020 was 13.38 kilograms or 29.5 pounds, while the weight in 2021 is 13.45 kilograms or 29.66 pounds. 
And finally, we have the Dual Sport 4. This bike has the most upgrades for 2021 and costs $1,160, as it is the top of the range. The 2020 bike came in the color Anthracite, while the 2021 model replaces this with Trek Black. The first change is to the tires. The 2020 bike used Bontrager LT2 comp tires, which were 700 by 38 c while the 2021 upgrades to the wider 700 by 40 c Bontrager GR1 Expert tires, which are some of Trek's best hybrid bike tires as they offer better durability and traction. The drivetrain has some big updates as well. The 2020 bike used a Shimano Dior M6000 10-speed shifter for its 2x10 drivetrain, while the 2021 Dual Sport 4 upgrades to the Shimano Dior M5100 11-speed shifter for its 1x11 drivetrain. This new drivetrain is lighter and simpler than the 2021, and is thus better for the trail, but you lose 9 gears for flat pedaling if you prefer riding on the road more, so that is something to consider. The rear derailleur is also updated from the 2020 model's Shimano Dior M6000 to the 2021 model's Dior M5100 to go along with the other M5100 parts. The new derailleur has a lower profile design and is thus less likely to get damaged. The crank is changed from a SRAM S1000 which had 42 teeth on the larger gear and 28 on the smaller gear to the Pro Wheel Alloy 42 tooth gear which works with the 1x11 drivetrain. The cassette is changed from a Sunrace 11 to 40 tooth 10 speed in the 2020 model to the Shimano Dior M5100 11 to 51 tooth 11 speed cassette designed for the Dior drivetrain. This new cassette has a lot more teeth on the largest cog in the cassette, which means that the 2021 Dual Sport 4 should pedal a lot more easily and comfortably uphill. And due to this new drivetrain, the chain is updated from the KMC X10 in 2020 to the KMC X11, which just means it's an 11-speed chain instead of a 10-speed chain. For some reason, even with all these changes, Trek's website still states that the 2020 and 2021 models weigh exactly the same at 12.48 kilograms or 27.52 pounds. Um, I'm not sure if this is a mistake, but I would expect the 2021 Dual Sport 4 to weigh around a pound less than the 2020 model. But with that, I've covered all the current changes, big or small, to the Trek Dual Sport 1, 2, 3, and 4 from 2020 to 2021. I hope this video helped you understand all the changes, and if it did, please leave a like and subscribe, and if I missed anything in the video or made a mistake, please don't hesitate to leave a comment and I will try my best to fix it. And if you have any questions or suggestions besides that, feel free to ask as well, but thank you all for watching, and keep biking.